Hey, I'm Ryan from Zen Booker. Let's talk about services. Services are the foundation of your Zen Booker setup. They represent the types of jobs your business offers to customers for online booking. Imagine you manage a home cleaning business. You want to charge your customers based on the number of rooms they require you to clean in their house. Let's assume you're only offering cleaning of bedrooms and bathrooms and at most five of each per job. You might think you need to create a separate service for every possible combination of rooms, each with a fixed price. But if you did that, you'd end up with a huge list of 25 different services on your booking page. As you can see, that approach would become complicated quickly, not to mention difficult for customers to navigate. There's an easier way to handle this in Zen Booker. That's where service modifiers come in. Service modifiers are where the magic happens. These are groups of options that customize the job's price and the required time. You can even change the booking flow from instant booking into a booking request with specific options. Service modifiers allow you to think about services broadly. Here's how it works. Instead of creating separate services for each type of cleaning, you can create one service, let's call it home cleaning, and then add service modifier groups for the different options, such as number of bedrooms and bathrooms. Then, which options your customer selects will affect the final price and duration of their home cleaning. If you offer a service such as home cleaning, whose price and duration depend on various factors that differ from customer to customer, service modifiers allow customers to pick the specific options they need. Let's talk about how to create your first service. From the ZenBooker dashboard, click Services on the sidebar, then click Add Service. First, give your service a name. Let's call this one Home Cleaning. Then click Create Service. Next, click Service Details at the top of the page. Here, you can enter a description of the service your customers will see when booking online. Next, we'll set the base duration and price of the service. This is the duration and price of a given job before any service modifiers have been added. We'll cover service modifiers in the following section. We'll set the base duration at 30 minutes and the base price at $50. Next, you'll select the type of booking flow for this service. The default booking flow is bookable, which allows customers to book appointments directly from your website during your business's available time slots. However, for some services, you may not want customers booking online willy-nilly. If you'd prefer to review and approve jobs before confirming them on your schedule, the booking request flow is what you need. With this option, customers submit their preferred dates and times along with their service details, but you maintain the final say. You can then convert these requests into confirmed appointments by accepting one of their suggested times or scheduling it for a different time. The final booking flow option is quote request. With quote requests, Customers provide their service and contact details, and then you can respond by sending them a bookable estimate. Quote requests do not collect a full service address or preferred dates from the customer by default. However, if you'd like to collect this data during a quote request, you can enable those options in the settings menu. We'll leave this service as bookable for now. After selecting your preferred booking flow for the service, you can choose whether it is taxable using the checkbox at the bottom of the form. Then click Save. Next, we'll click the section below service details called Service Modifiers. As previously mentioned, service modifiers allow customers to customize the service to their specific needs. Depending on the options a customer selects, service modifiers allow you to change the service's final price and duration. To get started, click New Modifier Group. Since this is a service for home cleaning, we'll need modifier groups for the number of bedrooms and for the number of bathrooms. So we'll call our first modifier group, number of bedrooms. After the group name, you can enter an optional description such as how many bedrooms do you need cleaned? Next, we have selection type. Single select allows customers to select a single option from the modifier group. Multi-select allows customers to choose multiple options from the modifier group, and Quantity Select allows customers to adjust quantities for each option in the modifier group. 
since our modifier group is called number of bedrooms, we will use single select. Next, we'll click new option and name this first option one bedroom. Then we can add the price and the additional duration for this option. Next, we'll add several more options for additional bedrooms. After we've added the options for bedrooms, we'll click done in the upper right corner. Next, we should add another modifier group, this time for number of bathrooms. We'll do this just like we did for number of bedrooms, using single select and creating options for the possible number of bathrooms the customer might want cleaned. After we've added the options for the bathrooms, we'll click Done. Now we'll add one last modifier group. We'll call this one Extras. In the description, we'll write Add on Extras for a cleaning upgrade. This time, we'll use the Multi Select selection type, since the options we'll offer here won't be mutually exclusive. We'll add options for a few cleaning extras that a customer might want, such as inside cabinets, inside fridge, inside oven, laundry wash and dry, and interior windows. Now we'll click done and then collapse the service modifiers section. Next, we'll add some intake questions. Intake questions let you ask optional questions to your customers when they book appointments online. However, unlike service modifiers, intake questions do not affect the price of a service. Click the Intake Questions tab, then click New Intake Question. ZenBooker offers several templates for intake questions, including drop down, multiple choice, picture choice, short text answer, long text answer, color choice, and image upload. Our first intake question will be, do you have any pets? This means we'll use a multiple choice type. After we type the question at the top, we can add a description to this question. Next, we have selection type. Since this is a yes or no question, we'll pick a single select and click the toggle below to make this question required. Next, we'll type yes under option one, no under option two, and then click save in the upper right corner. Our second intake question will be, how do we get in? And we'll use a multiple choice format. After typing the question, we'll click single select and required. Next, we'll add four options for the possible answers. Option one will be someone is home. Option two will be doorman. Option three will be hidden key. And option four will be other. Of course, knowing that your service providers will use a hidden key to access the customer's house isn't very useful unless they know where the key is located. So we'll click the little note icon and toggle it on. Now we can ask customers to select hidden key to answer a follow-up question by entering it in the box labeled prompt. We'll type, where's the key? Next, we'll wanna add a follow-up question to option four, other. In this case, we'll reiterate the intake question. How do we get in as the prompt and let the customer fill out the details? We'll add one last intake question called special notes or instructions, and we'll use the long text answer template. This will allow customers to add in any additional details not covered by the service modifiers or the previous intake questions. We'll type special notes or instructions into the question field and then add placeholder text such as e.g. please dust under the bed and empty the dishwashers to provide customers with an example scenario. Since we want this intake question to be optional, we'll leave the required toggle off. Now we'll click save and collapse the intake questions tab. The last thing we'll cover today is recurring options. This feature enables customers to schedule recurring appointments for a specific service. For example, a customer could select to have a cleaning service done weekly, and ZenBooker would automatically create a new job with the service options they've chosen every week. 
you can also offer discounts with recurring options to encourage customers to select them. Scroll down and click the Recurring Options tab. Next, click Create a Recurring Option. For a home cleaning business, some standard frequencies customers might want are weekly, bi-weekly, and monthly. We'll then select weekly from the drop-down menu, set it to every one week, and name this recurring option weekly. We want to incentivize customers to book the most frequent recurring option. So that's where we'll offer customers our highest discount. And because the price of this home cleaning service can vary so much between customers, it makes the most sense to use a percentage discount instead of an amount discount. We'll set the discount percentage to 20% and apply it to all jobs in the recurring series. Now click Save. Next, we'll add recurring options for bi-weekly at a 15% discount and monthly at a 10% discount. After we've added our recurring options, we'll scroll down to the section labeled Online Booking Options. Here we can customize how the recurring options are presented to customers booking online. Your headline will appear at the top of the page and the optional description will appear below it. For our headline, we'll write, How Often? And for our description, we'll write, Save by selecting a recurring cleaning plan. Next, we can choose whether to show our recurring options at the start or at the end of the booking process. We'll pick at the end of the booking process. Finally, you can add an appointment label to describe the nature of the service visits you'll make for this recurring service. For example, since we're offering a home cleaning service, we can use cleaning as the appointment label. This label will be presented to customers in the pricing summary as price for first cleaning. Now click save. Thanks for watching. If you have any other questions, please visit Zen Booker's Help Center or contact our customer support team.